Y este Red. Oh my. That's not a bug, that's a future, by the way, guys. Alright, we have the red Mordor player Fishy versus the blue Rohan player Dunadain. And you see, we have also a new design for the farms. So we have a unique farm now, looking farm for Rohan, and a unique looking farm for Gondor. Guys, what do you think about this? Let me know in the chat. Do you, like, do you guys like this? New farm design for Rohan? I think it's something new. Looks different, because you could not see any difference between Rohan farm and Gondor farm before, and now you can, you can see it. But it's column actually. <laughs> I don't even I don't <laughs> I don't even see him on the map anymore. <laughs> but you see. Okay, the plan here is for Mordor is gonna use the you. eye of Sauron. We must join with Sauron. It would be wise, my friend. I mean this guy's going ham boys. <laughs> this is looking so funny, dude. I cannot. Go, go! Who is this Pokemon? <laughs> Who is this Pokemon? It looks like a question mark, you know? You you need to guess yourself what this actually is standing for. Okay, Mordor was able to defend the settlement, that's pretty lit. He was also able to capture this one, but it's about to be destroyed by the peasants. And I think he forgot about the settlement up there, which is the most important settlement in the game. The peasant spam is coming in clutch. And of course, the stable, like mentioned before, is gonna cost a bit more money. It's kinda kinda make Rohan's early game a bit weaker. Remember, Rohan has the best early game in the game because you have the chance to recruit additional peasants, which other factions can't from their resource buildings. And even though you had like a very strong early game, you had also a very strong mid game, you know, basically as it. With the early and cheap stable. Now it's gonna be a bit more expensive. It's not gonna be game changing. Um, but it will cost you maybe around about five to ten seconds more time before you can get it done and Rohan is taking over the map boys there is only one single settlement left for Mordor and he made the mistake to go for too early Haradrim Palace also this building has been buffed by the way in the beta version so now you need to only recruit three of the Haradrim warriors to get it to level two then you can recruit the soldiers of Rune the pikemen and they are definitely tankier compared to the Uruk pikemen and to the tower guards also they don't die that fast against peasants but the peasant spam has been doing a phenomenal work. So the draft cooldown is still the same in the beta. Still needs to be changed. That's not the finished version yet of the upcoming patch, the 3.0, <laughs> but has already made lots of changes. As for example, the new future for the Golem. Uh, amazing new design model. We worked on it so hard, by the way, guys. It was like many, many sleepless nights to get it to look like this, but it was worth it. Look, I mean, look, the time investment, paid off okay it paid off so rohan is taking over the game boys multiple pa multiple farms i think the model player made a mistake and you can't afford to make a mistake on a map like this this is not a horrible map for mordor but not a great map either why even though you have three settlements to begin with the problem is the distance from this location to this location is just too short that you can't really defend he's gonna call it and that's gonna be the game number one and it's always been like this I mean, of course, it depends on the size of the map. And Dune is like a very unique threat. He's gonna open with double slaughterhouse here. He doesn't like to go for the orcs, but he always likes to go for the pink golem. Also, a new profile picture for golem, as you can see. Now he's looking more threatening. On the, on the old profile picture he had on Tinder, he was looking too cute. Nobody was taking him serious. Now he's looking more intimidating, you know? Like more dangerous and more, uh, you know what I mean? On the other side, with Ro Rohan player, the opening with, with double farm, and also... The Hobbit will move forward. The problem is when you open with double farm like you did, then you have not enough money to buy the settlements in a second. So you need to wait. For that reason, he was forced to be, you know, skip this to move to this location. And if you have to make a choice between the farm inside and outside, it's always more rewarding, especially now, to build the outside farm because not only they start with level two. By the way, super super smart move here from Tony. I really like what he's doing there. But it might not be enough, maybe he will lose the orcs, but he will get the money from the creep, that's very rewarding, of course. And he will lose the orcs afterwards. We, we nerfed the black orcs down to 15. So it's now, you know, less effective. And this warg should be able to clean this up. And he will also lose the settlement to the warg afterwards. You know, of, of course, going for such a move is has like everything has a good and a bad part in it. And you have like no momentum, no presence. 
and you heavily rely on the resource income inside the bees, which we nerfed by the way. We nerfed the resource income from the structures in your bees by one resource each. So camping is not going to be that rewarding anymore. Okay. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my. <laughs> okay. He's going ham, boys. What happened to the work here? The work is taking care of the farm, the slaughterhouse, as you can see and tell. And Fishy potentially doesn't even know what's going on. Fishy only knows that he has taken over the map, even though he didn't capture his own settlements. He has still two settlements he could capture. And what you can do in this situation, and what I've done myself also, is when you have a lead with Rohan against any faction, against Gondor, Isengard, or even Mordor, you can legit rush Ent mode, guys, okay? Ents are so powerful. Ents in a one-on-one -on -one combat are so much more stronger than Trolls. Trolls need Drama Troll to beat Ents. But keep in mind that Mordor has to recruit four Trolls plus a Drama Troll, which will cost them, at this point, way more money and time than you going for the Ents mode. If your opponent as Mordor doesn't have a <laughs> Drama Troll, your Ents are gonna smash the Trolls. Smash them. Look, the work one, I mean, pip in, Mary. It's a 2v1 one, one situation. The work is hungry, boys. Like, he's like, Come here, Gollum. You are not running away from me. Oh, he's kiting him. Can he do it? Oh, looks smart from Dune. Smart. Now he's gonna bring him to the tower too. No, he doesn't. He got invisible. You know, when Gollum is kind of fighting, he gets invisible. So we need to get in the range again. Can he kill him in a one-on-one -on -one situation? It's the web. Oh, never mind. He's trying to beat him in. Okay. But it's smart move here from Dune. Very smart move. And look, here's a whole beast. Full base, full base, but he has zero settlements. That's gonna be the first settlement he will have under his control since a long time. And Rohan, I'm telling you boys, go for the Ent mood. Make one or two Rohirrim to creep the map and just rush Ent mood, legit. Because your Rohirrim are not gonna be able to do too much. There are gonna be trolls very, very soon. So kinda, okay, <laughs> I wanna see this. Gollum is like is 200 IQ because of the new skin, you know? Okay. I mean, where are, where are the workers going? I think they, he want to be using them for, for scouting. And you can see, Adune is an expert player in this game. He's demolishing the buildings in time, just in time to deny experience points and power points. Because power points are game winning in this game. So if you have like a great power point advantage, you have like, this is going to be your win condition, okay? Oh. Towering up. Troll cage is building up for Mordor. And now, you also get less food bonus from the farms. We also forgot the percentage here for this uh, six farm bonus. It only says 25, but we need to add also the percentage. But of course, it's the beta. It's not finished yet. Okay. Theodine will be recruited. I'm still thinking, you know, legit. You should literally go for the end mood. End mood. I would rush it. I would legit rush it. There are still many creeps left, by the way. There is a war clan here, here. He was just creeping this one. And he's gonna use Theodin and his Rohirrim to go inside the base. Dune has to make sure to demolish the buildings in time. The last thing you want is that Rohan gets the Elven Alliance from the Spellbook, which they can be used to kill the troll. Okay. I'm telling you, boys, now the troll is out, and I'm, I'm being honest, I think Dune can win this. Because with the troll, he should be able to stall this game long enough. You can't really rush this beast without heavy armor, you know? Your Theodin gives leadership, of course, but... It's not enough. It's building up the armory now. Or? No, it's a farm. Okay. So what is the plan? He's gonna go for Eowyn. I think. No? Maybe Legolas? Maybe Ents? We will find out. But the troll is gonna be pretty much... There is no counter. So the troll can run around the map, creep everything, defend everything. And the more trolls he has on the field, the more map control he can keep. And the more rich he will grow. And Mordor is a skill infection. Mordor got a couple of buffs, actually big buffs in this patch. For example, trolls now, they cost only 20 command points. They used to cost 30. Now you can spam them. And again, it's a massive buff to the lead game of Mordor. You can make now an army, which is more threatening. Oh! What's up? Yoda, what's up? Dariola. Okay. Look at the troll. He's trying to kite him with Turo hit him. But Dune is smart, you know? Dune is not gonna give you the 50-50 chance. Look, he's gonna sm slap you. Slap you in the face. Boom. Oh, he got the last hit though, I think. 
Oh, the, Rohan, nah, he got the last with, with the troll. The splash from the troll when he's attacking you. That's pretty good because you need industry. Still zero farms outside, zero farms for Mordor. But look, he has unit scouting here, two workers, you know, around this wall. One worker around this wall. So he's always up to date. He's always able to see what's going on. Eisengasm with the nine months for tier three. Thank you so much, Eisengasm. Appreciate it, man. Really means a lot. Eisengasm just resubscribed for nine months. Ahoy. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Tier three sub. Nine months. And Tufan is also in the chat. Tufan, what's up, my friend? Thank you for 10 months, Tufan. Thank you so much. Tufan's1907 just resubscribed for 10 months. Ahoy. Holy moly. Whoops, sorry for the notification. It should be... No, no, no. It's all good, my friend. You don't need, you don't need to say sorry for this. Um, the only unfortunate part here for Fishy is that his theory never got experience, you know? Never. Yeah, I don't know, man. French versus Argentina. Might be a close one. I think Messi looks pretty strong. He was amazing in the match against Croatia. And Tufan with the 10 gifted. Thank you so much, Tufan. Really means a lot. Holy moly. Thank you. Tufan's 1907 just gifted 10 subs. What a pirate. Oh, we have the king here, boys. Legit the king is doing not paying attention to his troll. If he doesn't pay attention, the troll will die. It's the king of Rogondor, my friend. Does he have Andre's sword? Not yet, but he's gonna rush it. We nerfed Aragorn, though. So basically, he now will receive more damage from the from the arrows, right? And also, his overall tankiness is a bit nerfed, so he's gonna now take, take like, 15% more damage, which means, like, three trolls with the drama troll can definitely kill him. Now, especially because he has Blade Master on cooldown. <sighs> okay. So you need... Oh, okay. Oh, man. Alright, so you don't want to give too much time to Mordor, though. You know, that's the problem. When he gets Witch King... Oh, my goodness. Because Rohan's build, what he's, try what he's trying to achieve in this game, is not made for the lead game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Slap, slap. Drama Troll. Heal. Kill him. He has no heal from the spellbook. He has not even Anduril. Oh, uh, yeah. The big boys. Three Trolls. No Anduril Sword. No Blade Master. Drama Troll leadership for the Trolls. Bombo combo, baby. And he's going for the Harald in Palace too. Tiba, thanks, Tiba, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Conius, Con Con what's up? Aragorn, the king, has been slain. The trolls are something else in this game. Archer range here at the outpost. He should be also capturing this one, in my opinion. Just why not? Mordor was able to reclaim two of his settlements. That's more, two more than he had for the majority of the game. But industry is so helpful to get to recruit more trolls. Now he will, like, like look what he's doing, right? He's recruiting the soldiers of Rune for, like, the defensive part of this play. And he's gonna use the trolls to attack. And this army cannot match the trolls. There is no way. You need Legolas, you need Rohirrim archers, but then you have no Eomo leadership. So, in an all-out fight, Mordor can win, but Rohan can win when you are kiting. Necromancer was asking what is kiting, so basically hit, hit, run, hit, run, hit, run, you know? You don't go for an all-out fight. The problem is, when Mordor breaks in your walls and goes inside the bees, then you can't kite anymore. Then you need to fight, right? And that should be the play from Mordor here. People of Middle-earth, come together! Uh-oh. Troll is running it down. He's running it down. Legolas, shoot him! If Legolas last hit, maybe? Oh, Tyrion gets knocked back, but it's fine. Oh, beautiful. You see the experience he was able to share? It's big. Almost level 3 already. Okay. I mean, what you are looking for is level 4. That's a very important power spike. When you get level 4. But you need Rohir marches, otherwise you will lose map control. Legolas can't be everywhere. In Legolas, you can't really send him out forward alone. Because trolls are faster than Legolas. So when troll is chasing you, he can catch Legolas. He buffed the damage from the runes also against buildings. So it, as you can see, they are, they are dealing slightly more damage. Oh. Pipi Mary is like, Gollum, you are not able to spectate me. What's up, Alan? Let's go. Finally catching one of the World Championship schemes live. What's up, my friend? Thanks for tuning in. 
Rob Hull. Okay, Morda was able to take down, take control of this outpost. Look, the troll is on the hand, but you can't catch up to the Rohirrim. That's not possible. And we have now combos. Oh, I think... I think... Oh, I believe he gives too much time. Eisengasm with the time gifted too! Esengasm just gifted 10 subs. What a pirate. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Really means a lot. And this is level 1 design. This is level 2 design. From the new farms, as you can see. And when they are level 3, they will look like this. And also, you are receiving a gifted sub. Thank you so much. I mean, it's because you are unused to that. Just give it a second. I think it's good to have something new in the game. I will represent the men of Gondor. What a monster. Esengasm gifted a tier 1 sub to BFME2 Yoda. They have given 105 gift subs in the channel. Thank you so much once again for the 105 gifted subs. Ferdi20 and also Liver. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. You need here, by the way, uh, Legolas. Legolas can crush those runes in no time. Runes are very weak against, against heroes. And Legolas is one of the better heroes. Look, he is buying so much time. He can't win this fight. He knows he's going to lose them eventually. But he's trying to stall. And look at the minimap in the meantime, boys. So Mordor, as we are talking, is almost 7,000 in the bank. He will have Witch King on the field very, very soon. And that's going to be a great, 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 great time for the Witch King to shine. Witch King has been getting a buff, a big buff actually, in this beta version. And you will be able to see it in a few seconds. Runes, they get slaughtered, slowly but surely. But they are surprisingly tanky, as you can see. The size is level 2. But without Elma leadership, you have not enough DPS. You have not enough burst damage to actually kill stuff as fast as you need to. Because you need to kill trolls before they can make it to you. If they make it to you, they will wipe out everything, okay? And combos are too slow. And this dude doesn't give leadership to the combos. So when you want to go for the combos, you should be going for elves instead, I think. Elves are better because you can give them more leadership with this ability or 20% more DPS. Okay, boys, the Witch King. Look at this boy now. Look at him. And he has no fear resistant either, by the way, here. They're only level 2. Remember, you need to be level 3. Do not come between the Nazgul and his prey. And look at this Witch King ability now, boys. He has a new ability, a brand new one. This one. So that's going to be the first introduction of the debuff into the game. It's not super strong yet. It's only 15%. But it's about, you know, testing the limits and testing the water. But I think it's a great tool and also has like a visual effect. You can see this purpling effect around the enemy units. It's when you know that you are affecting them. Okay. But you need Eowyn. Look at this debuff. You need Eowyn, by the way. <laughs> you know? Oh, they are coming. They are coming. But you need to be careful to not run too fast. Drama Troll can't keep up with the speed. The combos are too slow, man. Oh, nice split here from Fishy, but oh, no, 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 no. No units inside the bees. Mordor is going to be smart and disengage. He doesn't want to overcommit here for no reason. With the statue around this outpost, he will deal even more damage. There was a phenomenal fight for Mordor, and he will not lose a single troll. It was a greedy move from Fishy. He was hog striking the troll with full HP. Should be trying to kill this, because look what's going to happen now. Look what's going to happen. Looks like meets back on... Come here, worker. Uh, Yum, 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 yum. Looks like meat's back on the money, boys. Okay. Alright. So, Rohan is suffering. You can see, the beginning of the game was dominant from the Rohan faction. That's how it's supposed to be in this matchup. Um, against a faction like Mordor, which is quite strong and almost unbeatable in the late game, you need to kind of have like a good early game, which he had, but the follow-up was kind of meh. And remember, the Mordor player was playing without Oryx pretty much all game long. There comes a Smite, but Switch King is quite healthy and should be just good to go. And, you know, Smite is, as you can see, still chunking him quite a lot. A lot, actually. There comes a Nazgul, and your Smite is on cooldown. Look, the trampling into the, into the runes, and it's gonna say LOL. Mordor is too rich. Too rich now. Outpost, one, two, three, four settlements outside. Whole bees with multiple level three buildings. Well, good, 
Good game, I guess. Can't be ours. Okay, that's gonna be the game number two. Duny does it again.